Here's a look at the stories making news at this hour. I'm Marion Kennedy. The Supreme Court will not hear the appeal of convicted former Governor Rob Blagojevich. V. Wynn has that story. The U.S. Supreme Court decided just hours ago to deny hearing the former governor's appeal. His family and attorney have been pushing to reduce his prison sentence, and this was their final attempt through the courts. Now, we learned the U.S. Supreme Court met last week in conference to weigh his second appeal. Blagojevich was convicted in 2011 on federal corruption charges from looking to trade an appointment to the Senate seat for Barack Obama to extorting a children's hospital for contributions. The former governor argued in his appeal the definition is unclear between what is a donation and what is a bribe under federal law, but that was not enough for the U.S. Supreme Court. He needed four justices to agree to move forward with the process. So what's next for the former governor? Our legal analyst Irv Miller says the only person who can help the former governor now is the president. There's two roads um, that Donald Trump could take to assist the former governor if he wants to. He can pardon him which means um, the case is over, he gets out of jail. Doesn't mean he's innocent, but the case is over. Or he could commute the sentence. Now, back in 2010, Bogloyevich appeared on Donald Trump's show, The Apprentice. We talked to Bogloyevich's wife, Patty, on the phone today, and she had no comment at this time. We also reached out to his attorney, and we are still waiting to hear back. Students at one Gary Indiana High School get to pick their own lunch. Students at a Gary, Indiana high school are getting the power to choose what's for lunch at school. Student Choice is a new national pilot program at Calumet New Tech High School, and it's giving students a say on what they actually get to eat. This week, they'll choose from entrees like Korean chicken bulgogi, crispy chicken breast tenders, diced turkey and ham with bacon baked potatoes, and buffalo chicken dip with tortilla chips. Certainly not what we had in school when we were growing up. Students then vote for their favorite meal. And finally, here's meteorologist Megan Glaros with your forecast. Well, not looking or feeling anything like April 16th out there today. We've had snow. It's windy. The high today will likely only be right around 38 degrees and uh, definitely not what we'd expect this time of the year. By the way, in case you're wondering, the average high on April 16th on this date is 59 degrees. We will be nowhere near that for most of the week. We're finally going to hit the 50s again, low 50s on Wednesday, a little bit of rain shower activity on Wednesday, and then we're likely to see temperatures climbing going into the weekend. We'll finally hit 58 degrees by Sunday. So it's a little bit of a chilly one, guys, but uh, this appears to be the only day with a chance of snow.